entry is really late on a Sunday night because we just got back today from going to Kansas City with our with some of Nathan's brothers and their wives and it was so fun. We went because we all have newer houses that we've bought and we wanted to go to IKEA and NFM. So we met up in Kansas City and spent a whole day shopping and it was amazing. I mean, I'm sure it was a top 10 day for Nathan, but <laughs> for me, honestly, it was great. And Nathan was a champ to shop all day long with us. We started off at Ikea and that is like the most amazing place ever. <laughs> and spent a lot of time there and I could have spent way more money there, but probably a good thing we didn't have enough room in the car or money in the bank. And then we went to NFM and looked around everywhere and got a lot of ideas for the house and someday I'd love to put some of those into into our home. But for now it was totally fun to shop together and dream together and look at all the fun things out there and spend time with family. That was the best part of it all. We got together with more family that lives in Kansas City and just really enjoyed our time. So we, and we went with only one child. We went with Lincoln and he was great. And it was nice to get a break from, it was nice to get a break from the other kids and they spent time with their grandparents. And we had a lot more silence in our lives this weekend. Uh, Jackson starts school this week. And even though we've been on a five month spring break because of COVID, I am not ready to go back to school, but it'll be, it'll be great to get routine and start learning some things again and start fourth grade together. This is my last year of homeschooling just one child since Ryan will be going to kindergarten next year and I'm trying to really be purposeful about enjoying the lower level of work workload in homeschooling just one child. I'm loving the time that Nick Jackson and I get to spend together to do that and just I'm trying to be purposeful in in appreciating that and then also appreciating the time that Ryan's not learning <laughs> and not doing schoolwork right now and just playing and having all the time to do that. So I'm just being intentional with enjoying the day today. Other than that, my brother comes in town with his kids this week and that'll be awesome. And that's about it. Dear Journal, got away for the weekend without the kids. That's about all you need to know. Had a good time, got to meet two of my three brothers. Um, Kansas City sort of the halfway point between where we live and where they live, so the ones that live, you know, apart from us, they have an Ikea where they live, but not a Nebraska Furniture Mart. And my other brother and us, who live in the same town, we've got a Nebraska Furniture Mart, but not an Ikea. So we went to a place that has both a Nebraska Furniture Mart and an Ikea, so we can get the best of all the shopping worlds. So we did that, and, you know, as we were, of course, had to be fully masked the whole time, you know, which is always my favorite. And so, uh, and I didn't bring a mask of my own, so I was wearing my son's Trinity Classical Academy mask that is for not my size of individual. So uh, we got to do that. Um, you know, I, here's the thing, my takeaway from Ikea. They've got some pretty cool displays about like, hey, if you had a 260 foot apartment, here's, here's how you could decorate this using 
only Ikea. And you would have this cool, functional, 260, 300, 320 square foot apartment. Which makes me glad I don't live in New York, where those sorts of things are actually necessary. Um, I mean, crap, the studio we're shooting in is about as big as what these apartments, these mock apartments in Ikea were. But that's not the most interesting thing I take away from Ikea. So here's the thing, you know, all of these furniture stores, they set up these mock places with, you know, fake pizza boxes and fake computer monitors and fake whatever to make you feel like, oh man, this really feels like it'll feel like in my home because we leave empty pizza boxes around all the time and fake computer screens, that's pretty much all we have. <clears throat> so, uh, but anyway, one thing I did notice that was curiously not fake, one thing I always love to do in these furniture stores is anything that has a bookshelf, I like to pull the books out and flip through them because it's always interesting to me to see if they're a prop or if it's an actual book. And in this case, there were basically two of them throughout the entirety of Ikea. There was a book called Illusions. I don't remember who the author was. And then there was a book that was written entirely in Swedish. So this makes me curious. <clears throat> if I write a book, and let's say it sells 500,000 copies, but 350,000 of those copies are to all the IKEA stores worldwide where they're going to sit on a shelf as a prop in their 280 square foot apartment. Do I count that book as like a bestseller or not? What if I wrote the Swedish book where I know 300 of those 350,000 copies are going to be sitting as an item on a shelf in a store where the people that come in and shop in that store don't speak the language that the book is written in. Kind of a funny thing to write a book and you sell a whole bunch of copies and then your publicist calls and they're like, congrats, you sold 200, we, you know, we sold 200,000 of your books and you're like, that's amazing. It's like Barnes and Noble, you know, the library system, no Ikea. Oh, oh. Okay then. Then we went to Nebraska Furniture Mart, which here's the thing about Nebraska Furniture Mart. I don't understand why all the Nebraska Furniture Marts outside of Nebraska are so much more amazing than the Nebraska Furniture Mart in Nebraska. I feel like people probably go to Nebraska Furniture Mart in Kansas City or Dallas or wherever and they're like, this is amazing. We should go to the Nebraska Furniture Mart in Nebraska. And then they drive in and they walk in and it's like, like that that Nebraska Furniture Mart was amazing. Like there were tons of couches to just take a nap on for like hours while everybody else was shopping. It was amazing. All joking aside, I, we did have a lot of fun. Um, you know, it was great to get to see my brother Drew. I don't get to see him or his wife Kate as much as I would love to. Love seeing them. Um, Jordan and Laurel, who we love dearly. You know, I always love getting away with them because we live five minutes apart and yet we hardly ever get to spend time together because we're so busy doing life stuff. Um, so great, great time getting to spend with both of them. Spent a lot of time talking about <clears throat> the American Gospel. Um, if you have not had a chance to watch that on Amazon Prime, please do yourself a favor and watch it. Um, if for nothing else, Journal, Journal, you should watch this. If for no other reason, then it's really good conversation piece with other Christian brothers and sisters about what the role of the church is. <laughs> and I'm spending a lot of time these days thinking about what is the role of the church? What is my role as a Bible study member in that church body? What is my role as <clears throat> a father and the spiritual leader of this home? What do we do to better live out the gospel the way God designed. Because at the end of the day, I don't want the net sum of my life to be a book I wrote 80% of which sells to Ikea. <laughs>